today we introduced the star. Star is always the opposite of X. So we make a clear triangle for star and we make a colored triangle for X. And we also learned a new legal move. If star is the opposite of X, then we can make what we call a convenient zero to help us out in solving our equations. Now this is equal to a convenient zero because if this is negative 5 then this will be 5 or if this x is a positive 3 then pawn will be the opposite which will be a negative 3. Pawn is always the opposite of whatever I mean, excuse me, star is always the opposite of whatever pawn is. I guess you could say it the other way. Pawn is always the opposite of whatever star is. Either way, they're opposite, so you put them together, and they make a convenient zero. So we're now learning a new legal move. Okay, so let's review our two legal moves. Whatever you do to one side, you can do to the other side. So if I'm getting rid of an x here, I'm getting rid of an x here. Because on my balanced scale... I can, remember, do the same thing to two sides, and that scale is still going to balance, right? So if I am going to take a, a weight away here, I can take the weight away on the other side. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other side. Now today we learned another legal move, and that is the convenient zero. So let's take a look at our convenient zero. We have a um, star here, and we have a pawn here. You put them together, and these two things make a convenient zero. So I can get rid of this and this, because they're opposites. We know they're zero. So what am I left with? A pawn on this side, and a 5 on this side. So pawn is equal to 5. Okay? So we've got two ways to do a legal move. Remember, I could take it away here and here because they're the same thing. Or on the same side, I can make a convenient zero and get rid of it. Okay? We also learned today that if I have something like 2x plus the opposite of x plus 3, I can make my two x's, and then if it says plus the opposite of x, I can make my star, and then I can make my three. Now if I said um, something like 2x minus 3 negative x equals 20 plus x, I could say two x's, so I'm going to make my two x's here. And then if it says minus three times the opposite of x, well, that would mean minus three star, but if it's minus three star, then I could add three x, because the opposite of taking away three stars is adding three x's. And then I just have to do 20 plus x, and then all I have to do is take one, take one, and then I've got one, two, three, four. Four x equals 20, which gives me x equals 5. Let's walk that through again. We have our 2x. Then we have a star over here because it says the opposite of x, so it's a star. So that means minus 3 star. Instead of subtracting 3 star, we can do the opposite of subtracting and we can add 3x because x is the opposite of star and adding 3 is the opposite of subtracting. So really, if you do the opposite of each thing, you're okay. So we're saying it was a star. We're not putting a star. We're putting an x because we were subtracting, we don't want to subtract. Subtracting is complicated, we just want to add. So we're going to add 3x, not subtract 3 star. It's the same thing to add 3x. Now let's add a step. Let's say we had 
x minus 3 star plus 2 is equal to 8 minus 2x. All right, so we're going to put our x right here. Then we have minus 3 star, so we're putting 3 more, just like we did before, but we're going to run into another little problem here. Plus 2 is equal to 8 minus 2x would be the same as saying plus 2 star. Now we got a problem because we have our 2 star. So take a look, we got 2 star over here, but we only have x's on this side, so we don't have any way to get rid of our 2 star. Now we're going to have to put in our convenient zeros. Remember, when you put in your convenient zero, you have to put in an entire set. An entire set. You can't just say, oh, let me add a pawn, and that's going to make this into a convenient zero. No, you have to add in the whole set, the convenient zero, or you're not just adding in a zero. So what's a convenient zero? Here's one right here. A pawn and a star, there's a convenient zero. Here's another convenient zero. So if I want to add these two to this side, then you're going to notice I can begin taking things away. I could take this, 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 and this, but I still need help because I have two of them on that side, so it looks like I'm going to have to add another convenient zero on this side and another one. So if I do that, I can take this, I can take this, which I'm taking these two, which means that I have 2 is equal to 8 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pawns. Oh my goodness. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, so if I take the 8 from this side and take the 8 from this side, I'm going to get negative 6 because I had $2 over here. And I owed somebody 8, so I gave them the 2 I had, but I still owe them 6, right? So I get negative 6 is equal to 6 star. So that means that negative 1 equals star. So 1 is equal to x. Now let's see if it works. That would be 1 minus 3 times a negative 1 would be like 1 plus 3. That would be 4 plus 2 is 6. 8 minus 2 times 1 is 6. It works. Wow. That was a little complicated. Let me go through that again. So x, here's your x, minus 3 star is the same as adding 3x plus 2 is equal to 8 minus 2x is the same as adding 2 star, right? So far so good. Okay, but we have these two stars over here and we have these four pawns over here, so we were stuck. There was nothing we could do, so we have to do a convenient move. We couldn't do a convenient move by taking anything from here because we didn't have on the other side any pawns. We only had stars. So we actually added all these convenient zeros to this side because it doesn't matter. You can add zeros as much as you want. Zero is zero. If you don't have any money, you don't have any money. So we added a convenient zero here and here. We added a convenient zero here and here. We actually added four sets of them, four sets of zeros. And once we did that, then we could go over slash, 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 slash. That left us with our 2 on this side, our 8 on this side, and our 2 stars. Well, we were in trouble because we've got a number with these stars and we needed to get rid of it. We wanted the stars alone, so we wanted to subtract the 8 from this side. Once we subtracted the 8 here, we had to subtract the 8 here, but we didn't have enough. We only had 2 bucks and we owed somebody 8, which means we ended up with our minus 6 over here. We're now we're, we're in hock 6. We're worse off than 0. Because we took our 8 off of this side, right? We got rid of it, and we only had 2 bucks here. So when we took our 8 from our 2 bucks, now we got our minus 6. And then that left us then with our 6 stars. Because remember, we had 1 right here, 1 right here. So that's 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six, all the ones we added in with our convenient zeros. So we had minus six equals six star. Okay? So we could divide out both sides by six. You divide this side by six and you're left with star. You divide this side by six and you're left with a negative one because negative one times six is equal to negative six. So negative one is equal to star, which is one is equal to x. Uh, that one was a little tricky. Okay, here's your problems for the week. 2x minus 3 star equals 15. Remember what you do if it's minus 3 star, then what are you going to do instead of subtracting 3 star? You're going to do what? Okay, your next one, 2. Don't forget the distributive property. 2 times 3x plus 2. Don't forget to distribute this. Okay, 2 times 3x plus 2 plus x equals 3x plus 15. Your next problem is 3x minus the opposite of x. You got your negative x here. So instead of subtracting a negative x, what can you do? What can you do here? Plus 3 equals 3 times a negative x plus 8. What's 3 negative x's? 3 negative x's would be 3 what's? 2x plus 3 star minus 5 equals 4x plus 20. x minus 2 star. Instead of subtracting 2 star, what are you going to do? Minus x. Instead of subtracting x, what are you going to do? Minus 3 equals star plus 9. Good luck. And, um, you know, in the first one I said solve for x and star. That's what this means here. So I guess you can do that for all of them. Once you have x, you can give me star. Or once you have star, you can give me x. Okay, that's it.